welcome to my cave. Spent a lot of time in here these past couple of days. And I've been doing a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking about YouTubers. Thinking about how they'd smell. So today I'm going to do a tier list. Decide how YouTubers theoretically would smell in my own mind. Uh, this is also going to be kind of ranked on, you know, how I, how much I'd like to sniff them in general. So let's just get right into this. Starting us off strong with anything for views. Now here's the thing. I'm sure he takes care of himself to a certain extent, but this is one fat motherfucker. I mean, he's got rolls upon rolls, and stuff builds up inside of those rolls. It rots, it turns bad, it's gross. I'm going to put him at a, 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 a C. I'll probably a C, because, yeah, I, you know, I kind of like him. Next, we've got good old Captain Sparkles. Now, you'd think that I would rank Captain Sparkles quite high, because, you know, he takes care of himself, he's a good-looking guy and everything, but he works out a lot, and uh, working out makes you sweaty and disgusting, so I'm just going to put him at an A tier. Uh... Otherwise, you know, if he didn't work out so much, he'd be an S tier. Next, we've got Moist Critical, Charlie White, the grease man himself. I mean, he he says it himself. He is a greasy boy, a greasy motherfucker. I've seen videos of him, I think it was a stream actually, where his hair looked like it was wet, right? It looked like it was wet as if he'd just showered. But I think he clarified that he hadn't showered in like three days, so it was grease built up into his hair. Um, I'm not, I don't want to sniff him very much. That's a D tier. David Dobrik, okay, so David Dobrik, again, rich guy, lots of money, takes care of himself, but that means that he probably wears too much cologne because he can afford it, even though, you know, cologne is very expensive, but he can fucking afford it, so he probably doesn't smell as good as you'd think he would. B tier. Now, here's the thing with Dream. Uh, he's never shown what he looks like, you know. Uh, all we've ever heard of him is his voice. Uh, but I'm just going to go out on a, on a limb here and say he's a sweaty little gamer lad. So I'm a, also, he's kind of gay, so I'm going to throw him into D tier. Dream is gay and a D tier. Drew Gooden. Drew Gooden, you know, I bet I bet he smells fine. There, there's probably nothing to write home about, honestly. I'll probably throw him at like a B tier. Just probably doesn't really smell like much. Video game donkey. Now, um, donkey's a little overweight, but not as fat as anything for views. But he's very funny and stuff. Um, so just based on how funny he is, I'm gonna just throw him into an A tier. It doesn't really matter how he smells. I just want to put him into an A tier. And here we have good old Eddie Burback, who is good friends with Gus Johnson. Now here's the thing about Eddie, is he is very fucking annoying on Twitter. He's funny, but, uh, I don't, yeah, he's just, I don't like, I don't like him very much. Uh, he's a funny guy, but I don't really like him. I'm gonna put him in D. <laughs> this is just me ranking you. There's no, it's not even about the smell anymore. D tier. And just to further prove that this is no longer about the smell at all, I, S tier, obviously. Now, you would clearly not want to put Filthy Frank into S tier, but here's the thing. I would absolutely sniff him, no matter what the disgusting sewage smell is coming off of him, I would sniff him anyway, regardless. He, he could have been, you know, rolling around in the sewers for multiple hours before this, you know, and I'd be like, all right, sure, yeah. I mean, it's Filthy Frank. You, you have to take advantage of that. We've got George Not Found... Um, yeah, he's a cute little twink, 8 out of 10, I bet he smells pretty good, I'll throw him an A tier. Gus Johnson, yeah, there he is, the, uh, good old Gussie boy. Gus is pretty funny, um, but it seems like he doesn't always shower or take care of himself that well. Uh, so I'm gonna throw him in a C tier next to Chad, I, I think I'd maybe kind of want to sniff him, but you'd have to give me, like, $10 to do it. Next we have Ethan, now Ethan has a lot of money, but, uh, he's also... Again, into the very fat category. I don't think I would want to sniff Ethan Klein, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw him into a D tier just to be safe. iDubs is one of the original kings of filth on YouTube. I mean, you know, he's changed a lot since then. I think he's kind of turned into a, a, a fucking pussy uh, lately. But, uh, you know, he probably smells fine. Probably smells okay, though, honestly. I'll put him at a B tier. Now we have good old Jack's Films. I'm sure he smells like nothing. I mean, he is the most milk toast entertainer on the platform. Love the guy to death, but I just, I, you probably sniff him and think that you're sniffing soap. Like, just absolutely nothing interesting about it, so I'm just gonna put him into a C. Next, we have Jack Spadisi. Um, literally don't have anything to say. You know, probably smells fine. I'll throw him into an A tier. Jake Paul. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to go ahead and throw him into C tier. Not really sure. 
I mean, it literally could go either way with Jake Paul is the problem. He, he either smells really fucking bad or he smells incredible. So I think a safe bet is to just kind of throw him a little bit in the middle at the C tier. Next, we have Jake Roper uh, from Vsauce 3. Jake looks like he takes care of himself and everything. I'm sure that he's got some good smells emanating off of his person. But, uh, you know, I... I, I it, again it could go kind of either way but you know i think i'll throw him in an a tier i think that that's a safe bet james charles there's no way james charles smells bad this guy has too much taste and too much money to smell bad i'm gonna go ahead and put james into an s tier just because i think sniffing him would be like sniffing a cloud like a cloud of roses or something like that i think it would be beautiful i'm not i'm not interested in james charles though romantically or sexually i'm not i just think that he'd I just think he'd smell good. I'm not, I'm not gay. Next, we have Kevin Lieber. Kevin, again, you know, it's not much, not much to work with here. When he records his videos for Vsauce 2, he kind of looks like he's in a dungeon, so he might be a little bit of a sweaty lad. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw him into a C tier just to be safe. You know, I think he probably smells fine, but I don't trust it. KSI, um, his hair looks disgusting. It looks like he never washes himself. I'm sure he does. I'm absolutely certain, 100% certain that he does, but like, just, I, in general, wouldn't really want to sniff him. Logan Paul, you know, he probably smells like nobody else on this planet. Like, I think he's got probably an extremely unique smell to him. And just for that alone, I think I want to throw him into S tier, just because I don't think any other YouTuber would smell just like Logan Paul. He's got some unique shit going on. I am very certain of that. Next, we've got Mark Rober. You know, he's... Got a family, he does science, um, he probably smells fine. Not much to say about Marky Mark Wahlberg, Mark Wahlberg, the actor. Speaking of Mark, we got Mark Applier with the pink mustache. You know, again, with Mark, I just don't, you know, he like, I'm sure he smells fine, but he doesn't look like he smells all that good. Is that weird? He just doesn't seem like he smells all that good. I'm just going to go ahead and throw him into like a C tier just to be safe. <laughs> Max Mofo. No way this motherfucker smells good. He put on weight. Um, you know, he opens Pokemon cards all day. He's a little fucking goblin. Um, I'm going to throw him into a C tier alongside anything for views. His little homie. Michael Stevens from Vsauce 1. The most critically acclaimed Vsauce. I actually went and saw his live show. And uh, can't say that I was able to sniff him during this live show. Um, but, you know, he's, he's good. I, you know, I'm gonna throw him in an S tier, but bet you he smells real good. Mr. Breast, um, cool guy, good videos, probably a sweaty lad. I'm gonna throw him into C. Onision, uh, yeah, that's gonna be a strong D tier. I don't think anyone should have to smell whatever this guy smells like. PewDiePie, I definitely think that PewDiePie smells good, but he's a little bit of a greasy gamer little lad, you know what I'm saying? A little, little lad, little greasy little boy. <laughs> I'm gonna throw him into an A tier. I bet you, I bet you he's... I bet you he smells real good. Next, we have Ryan's Toys. I'm not I'm not touching that one. I am not touching that one. We have Shane Dawson and I just I gotta guess that he smells like cats and piss. I've watched his YouTube videos before. I saw the piss jugs, not bottles, but jugs of piss next to his bed. Why doesn't he empty them out in the morning? Who knows? D tier. Don't want to smell him. And finally to cap this off, we've got, you know, a YouTuber who's a bit past his prime. I hope he doesn't watch this video because he'll hate me forever for that, that little statement. Um, he probably smells good, though. I mean, he's been on the platform for a while. He's an older gentleman. I mean, you know, he's in his 30s, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, he probably knows how to take care of himself. I'm going to throw him into an A tier. Anyway, so that was my thoughts on YouTubers and how they might smell. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, I think you should take a long, hard look in the mirror and seriously question your decisions. I mean, everything that led you up to this moment where you decided to watch this video and get through it all the way to the end, those were poor decisions. And you should probably rethink at least most of your life, maybe not the entire thing, but at least all the decisions that led you to this point. So anyway, I'll stop this here and I'll see you little gamers again next week. <laughs>